Good afternoon, everybody. We um, have a full house this afternoon, and um, so welcome. Welcome to the Fortis call, and um, we, um, I'm, I'm pleased to be able to uh, spend a little bit of time talking about where we are. Um, I, I want to just um, step back for a second, because quite honestly, it's been a little bit of time since we've all connected, and um, it's been a very interesting few months for the organization. Um, to be very candid, um, it's been um, we've 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 had <laughs> we've had quite a journey. It's been um, on some days um, very challenging, um, some good days, um, some not so great days. But um, here we are, standing and standing tall and standing very firmly with our feet planted, uh, with a strong uh, push to go forward. With that said, um, some of the challenges that I've talked about, we've had an external challenges clearly by what's happening in the industry. Um, what's happening with the regulatory environment in the country today? Um, we've had some group challenges um, within um, within the, um, the the broader group that um, um, the erstwhile group that that um, had controlling interest in Fortis, and then we've had certainly some Fortis issues as well. And we will um, talk as transparently as we can about everything that that I'm mentioning. Um, with that said, let me just start first about the broad health environment, and um, you're all aware, obviously, that. Um, the, uh, the, our country is India is changing every day, um, literally every day, with respect to um, how we look at um, how we look at business, how we look at um, um, uh, controls and, and checks and balances, and that's a good thing. I think for um, for all of us, I think that's a good thing. Um, with that said, um, the healthcare industry has gone through a lot of changes. If you think about where the Indian healthcare industry was 20 years ago, the days of a patient walking into a hospital and touching a doctor's feet and thanking him or her for taking care of them are long gone. Um, we are now at a time where uh, information transparency is available and uh, patients go online and check and see how is a doctor, they check their ratings, and no different than if they decide where to, where to have dinner and what restaurant they go to. I think they do the same thing with doctors and hospitals as well now. So obviously a lot's changed. I will tell you what's been troubling uh, from a private healthcare operations perspective, is the disparaging uh, manner in, in way in, in which that the private sector, private healthcare sector, has been portrayed in um, in multiple multiple forums, um, whether it's the, the general public, whether it's the media, whether it's um, 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 any intellectual discussions, debates that are taking place. Um, to put to put it very bluntly and very simply, um, the industry has just gotten its butt kicked in the last six eight months. I've said very often that um, we are one of the most maligned industries in the country. Um, and, and quite honestly, that's quite an irony because I saw a, a survey that was done in the U.S. very recently where the most noble profession in the country was that of a nurse. And I think third or fourth was a doctor. In India, in India, the least trusted professions in the country, one of the least trusted, is a doctor which I thought was quite interesting, especially since <laughs> most of the doctors, many of the doctors that are considered the best doctors in the U.S. are Indian. And so that's quite an irony that the same doctors here who are being called um, crooks and chores and dakus and God knows what else, uh, in U.S., they enjoy a celebrity status because they're considered so good at what they do. So that's put the industry in quite a challenging position. We've been no different. And um, the industry, uh, as I said, we've gotten our head handed to us. Um, so the, as, an organ as an industry, as an organization, we're working together to make sure that we do a better job communicating and sharing um, what happens in the industry, what is the cost of good health care, and um, just exactly how do we see the future going forward. Now, just to dig in a bit further, um, what's happened from a business perspective and how these things have impacted us, um, around November, you will recall that um, several hospitals, including one of ours, um, had some challenging incidents that took place that put the entire private health care um, 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 discussion up for public debate. Um, Max had the hospital with the, with the twin babies, and you're all familiar with that. At Fortis, we had the baby Adia case. We had the baby Adia case, and that um, certainly had an impact. You had um, the Madanta had a case with a, a young boy with a, a very large bill. Uh, so many, many hospitals had similar challenges, and that certainly had an impact. So I will tell you that A, as an industry, we are working on um, doing a better job communicating the value proposition inside Fortis Healthcare. We also, um, we also are uh, making sure that from an internal perspective that we, our processes are um, being absolutely run in a manner that should be, um, should be um, c consistent with the best practices around the world. So that's a big, big focus for us. With that if you look at the business, uh, quarter two was a strong quarter. We had good numbers. We'll go through the numbers in a few minutes. 
Quarter three, we took a bit of a hit, uh, as did much of the industry, as um, as did much of our, the, the competitive landscape as well. And again, that's um, something that's been widely reported. The whole um, private-public sector um, debate has been on. Um, and quite honestly, you know, I think there's so many inconsistencies there because very often some of the things that have happened in the private healthcare space where people, you know, you have whether it's, whether it's Twitter, whether it's Facebook, whether it's the multiple social media channels, whether it's the television stations, we have a huge, huge, huge uproar around them. Um, very often that happens. Um, but then similar, thing happens, similar things happen in um, public hospitals, and, and you don't hear very much about it. So what we, our view from an industry perspective and as a private operator is let's, let's set a level playing field for the healthcare industry. Let's set some level parameters. We believe self-regulation is good. And from a Fortis perspective, we have a very strong self-check, um, which is called FOSS, where we try to ensure that we are taking the best care of every single patient every single day in our hospital. Having Quarter healthcare environment is now witnessing signs of stabilization. Um, we did quarter three was a, a weaker than expected quarter, driven by this. And, and to be very honest, look, we've had you know the whole um, um, noise factor that's been related to our group has been quite significant, and um, that's certainly been a bit of a, uh, a, a bit of a distraction as well. With the, um, the bigger issue is the broader healthcare environment. Um, January started to come back a little bit. The month of February, with three less days, was actually stronger than January. And we expect March to be a good, solid month. And I'm, I'm expecting a very, very strong 18, 19 going forward. Um, the other thing that you're well aware of are some of the things that have been happening within the group level. Um, you're obviously aware that our, our promoter shareholding, which a year ago <clears throat> was in the 60% plus range, um, came back, came down to the um, low 30s, 33, 34% range, and now is marginal at less than 1% with what's been happening with the banks. Um, in addition, you know, you're well aware that, that um, the promoters resigned from the board. This is a decision they made, and um, that's a, a, a matter and a fact that's been well publicized um, in, in all media circles. So you're aware that post the Daichi decision, they made the decision to do so, and um, with a broad view that they were going to disengage with the company and allow the company to move forward. Um, with that, we have a non-promoter-headed board today. We have a management committee that consists of three board members um, who are now um, functioning as an operating committee. And we have a management team um, that we feel um, is a very, very strong team. And um, we believe the company is certainly in good hands as we go forward. Um, the other thing that, that I should mention is um, you're obviously aware of some of the other um, things that have um, been in, in, the, in the news about, about loans that were given. Um, we have... On a company level, through the audit committee, we have an investigation that's going on um, that, again, is company-initiated investigation that's going on. There is also, um, as you're all aware, there's a SEBI investigation as well and um, that we are certainly um, cooperating with in every way, shape, and form. I would tell you one thing. Look, I, I don't think anybody, I don't think anybody, uh, not me, not you, no one, I don't think anybody wants to be investigated. Having said that, uh, my view on this, and it's a very simple and fairly clear view, is that um, we want to make sure that we are running a good business. We want to make sure we are running an ethical business. We want to make sure that we are providing the best possible care to every single patient in every single hospital every single day. Um, so we are looking forward to, um, whether it's external, whether it's internal, um, completing these investigations successfully, making sure um, that whatever, whatever, if there's something um, that's, that's not right in the system, that we fix it. But extremely important that as we go forward that we are running an absolutely uh, tip-top organization from every single way possible. I'll also tell you that, <clears throat> that from an organization perspective and from a leadership perspective, um, the last six months have been a, <laughs> they've been, it's been one heck of, heck of a ride. It's been a heck of a ride. Um, I can tell you, I say this with a great deal of um, humility and pride, um, we have not lost one member of senior management in this entire time. Um, we have not lost one um, senior clinician, one doctor. Um, we have a tremendous amount of faith. I think the people in this organization have a tremendous amount of loyalty to the brand, a tremendous amount of loyalty to each other, loyalty to its patients to make sure that we continue to do what we're doing. What, I'm, what I am extremely excited about is by virtue of the fact that we have retained so much talent, that there's so much, uh, the passion level, if you came to any one of our um, hospitals or meetings or anything, uh, you would think you're talking to a company that's doing $50 billion of business because the energy level is very high. Um, these challenges have been challenging, nothing less than that. I don't want to dismiss them. I don't want to make them sound um, um, minimal or, or, or light in any way, shape, and form. Having said that, 
Look, I think, I think Fortis is going to come out of this very, very strong. I think that um, learning for any organization, if you look at the maturity of an organization, if you look at what great organizations, companies like GE have gone through in their history, uh, as an example, um, all good companies go through challenges. We have our challenges. Um, I have been extremely transparent. Uh, many of you uh, may have received communications from us over since the time in November when these things started happening. We've been extremely transparent. We are sharing information. We are upfront about what's happening. And at the end of the day, at the end of the day, um, whatever we do, we are, our, our focus is on moving forward in a manner that is good for the organization, the 17,000 employees we have in the organization, and the hundreds and thousands of patients we take care of every day. So I can tell you that we look forward to um, completing the investigations. We look forward to, we had an audit, as you're aware, that was signed off yesterday. There are um, two, three issues that have been pointed out. I, I want to just say up front, because I want to clarify this up front as well, that the audit points out three, four issues. The function of the audit, basically the concluding statement is that they cannot comment on the financial statements because of the impact that these two, three items might have on them. Um, having said that, again, once again, we have an investigation that's going on. Um, we look forward to that. And that, beyond that, we look forward to uh, moving forward and taking Fortis, continuing the great ride, the journey that Fortis has been on, and we look forward to going forward. So one other thing that I'd like to mention from a business perspective is you're all also aware about RHD, the, the Health Trust. Um, we have completed um, and signed um, final uh, formal documents around that, and um, we look forward to that transaction being completed. So if you look at two, three things that are happening, and at that point I'll hand the um, um, uh, uh, mic over to Arindam, there are two or three things that are happening. One is that the broader industry is changing, and I think there's a lot of change. I think we're all rethinking just exactly what does the healthcare, the hospital value proposition look like, number one. Number two, from a Fortis perspective, um, the health trust, uh, the RHT piece is going to have a significant, almost a 300 crore impact on our EBITDA, which is significant. And um, I don't want to shortchange or in any way, shape, or form, um, undersell the fact that while the last six months have been painful as hell, um, it's going to make us that much stronger. Because I firmly believe in what doesn't kill you makes us stronger, and God knows we're alive and well, and we will be much stronger going forward. And third is, I think that Fortis has done a lot of past, and I think that going forward, I think post this will be able to continue that journey, and I look forward to, and I, I firmly believe that in the very, very near future, Fortis will be mentioned among the better healthcare providers in the continent.